you know what complex numbers are, but how can we do computations with them? In this video, we will start with the basic computations. You will learn about addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And all you need is that i squared equals minus 1, as you will see in this video. So let's start with addition. Suppose we have a z1 a plus b times i and a z2 c plus d times i. How are we going to add them? So z1 plus z2 equals a plus b times i plus c plus d times i. And we just add the real parts and the imaginary parts. So we add a and c and we add b, uh, i and di to get i times b plus d. So that's how you add complex numbers, just add real parts and imaginary parts. So let's do an example. 2 plus 3 times i uh, plus minus 3 plus 4 times i. We add the real parts, 2 and minus 3, which yields a minus 1. And we add the imaginary parts, 3i and 4i, which yields a 7i. Similarly, we do uh, the subtraction. We just subtract the real parts and we subtract imaginary parts. So z1 minus z2 equals 2 minus minus minus. Minus minus 3, so 2 plus 3 equals 5, and 3i minus 4i equals minus i. So here you have the z1 minus z2. So no problem at all over there. What about multiplication? So if we multiply two complex numbers, we just write them as a plus b times i times c plus d times i, so like here, and then we work out the bracket. We get a times c, and a times c times i, and b times c times i, and a b times b times i squared. And at this point, this is the only point where we use the definition of the i. i squared over here equals minus 1. So what do we get? We get as real part a times c minus b times d, plus i times the imaginary part a times c times i plus b times c times i. So there we have the product of two complex numbers. Do not learn this formula by heart, just work out the brackets. And remember that uh, i squared equals minus 1. So we have 2 plus 3i times minus 3 plus 4i. How do we compute that? Well, uh, 2 times minus 3 equals minus 6. Uh, 2 times uh, 4 times i, 8i. And 3i times minus 3, so minus 9i. And then 12 times i squared equals minus 12. So what do we get? Uh, minus 6 minus 12 equals minus 18, and 8i minus uh, 9i equals minus i. So that is how you multiply two complex numbers. I notice that over here you use this definition of i squared, our new imaginary unit. Next, complex conjugate. What is that? Well, if we have a z equals a plus bi, then we can define an other complex number z bar, the complex conjugate of z, as z bar equals a minus bi. So computing z bar is really easy. If you have your z equals minus 3 plus 4i, your z bar has the same real part, but the imaginary part gets a sign. So the z bar equals minus 3 minus 4i. <coughs> now how can we use this complex conjugate? Well, notice that z is complex and z bar is also complex, but something special happens if you multiply z times z bar. Because what happens if you do that, so z, minus z times z bar gives you a plus bi times a minus bi for some general complex number. So you get a, a squared minus a times b times i plus a times b times i, so those cancel out, uh, minus b squared times i squared, but i squared equals minus 1, so we get a squared plus b squared. So even though z and z bar are both complex, their product is uh, uh, just a real number, a positive real number, a squared plus b squared. And this little trick will allow us to do division. So how can we divide two complex numbers, z1 over z2? Well, the trick is <coughs> to multiply with 1, to multiply with z2 bar divided by z2 bar. That is 1. And why? Do we want to do that? Well, then you'll get here, and the de denominator as z2 times z2 bar, and that quantity in the denominator will become a, a real quantity. Well, in the numerator, we have a complex number, product of two complex numbers, but we know how to do that. So then we get something of the form 
uh, 1 over c squared plus d squared, which is fine. It's a uh, uh, real number times a plus bi times c minus di, which is OK. Well, that's a, f a small example of a quotient. Looks difficult, but well, trust me, if you have to do the computations, it's not so hard at all. Uh, so we compute uh, 2 plus 3i divided by minus 3 plus 4i. So the trick is to multiply with 1, with the complex conjugate of the uh, denominator. So we uh, multiply numerator and denominator by uh, minus 3 minus 4i, which we do over here. Then in the denominator we get a 9 minus 12i plus 12i, those cancel out, uh, minus 16i squared, so plus uh, will give us uh, 9 minus 16i squared will give us a 9 plus 16 will give us a 25. And the numerator is just worked out in the usual, usual way. Minus 6, minus 8i, minus 9i, minus 12i squared. i squared equals minus 1, so that will be a plus 12. 12 minus 6 equals 6. And minus 8i minus 9i equals minus 17i. And now we have our complex number 6 minus 17i over 25. So that is how you divide two complex numbers. So now you can do all the standard uh, uh, algebraic operations with complex numbers as well.